All right, so we're going to do another uh, Firefly Photoshop mashup using similar concepts that we did in the last one, but we're going to build this one vertically. So there's a couple of different ways you can think about this. One is um, from the top down, like uh, sky and mid-ground foreground. The other is to think of it as stack forward and backwards. And so this one, we're going to have something that occupies the foreground of the picture, the mid-ground of the picture, and, and the sky. In this case, I've got a jungle picture with a tiger in, in the bottom, and then I'm going to stack on top of that some, um, some hot air balloons, and then I'm going to stack a beautiful sky on top of that and balloon those two together and make something um, very interesting. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so these three images have been blended together. Let's get started. So I'm going to grab my tiger, and I'm going to figure out which tiger I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one. And so here's my image. And what I want to do is I want to check. And let's pull up. I hit tab to hide all my layers. I hit tab again to bring them back, or all my tools. And I'm going to go to image and choose canvas size. And I want to record the canvas size, and then I want to make it three times the height of the canvas. So I'm going to go to height and set it to pixels. And so the canvas is 1536. And I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to type in three times that number. And that's 4608. And then I'm going to go back into... Uh, Photoshop and type that into the height. And then the other trick is I want to place all of this additional canvas above the current canvas. So I'm going to click this button here. Well, actually, this button here, and that's going to push all the additional canvas up above it, like so. And then control zero to fit on screen. So now you see how I've, I've created this long vertical canvas. And let's open up another one of the images in this case. I want to grab one of the hot air balloon pictures. You can, what I did was I took my four renders from each category and saved them so I could try different combinations of these images together. And so now I'm going to select all, edit, copy, click on my target canvas. Let's close this one. I can go to edit and paste. And that's about where I want it to be. I want it to be right there. And what I want to do is I want to blend these two layers together. I can use the rectangular marquee tool and grab a big swath like that. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and flatten it, just make it a little easier. And then I'm going to click my generator fill. I could type something in here, but I don't really need to. I'm just going to click generate. And it's going to find a way to blend the colors together. And it actually does a really good job. And it's kind of interesting and exciting. There we go. So that looks really cool. So I could stop here. But what I want to do is I want to add in that other photo. So I'm going to close this one. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to select one of my pictures of the far reaches of space. I made this really colorful image of the reaches of space kind of thing. Let's select that. That looks good. And I, I, I'm I, going to select all, edit, copy. I want to go to the other canvas. And I'm going to paste this in, edit, paste. And I'm going to move it up here. And I think what I want to do is I want to grab my selection tool, and I want to take this top part here and choose, uh, let's choose uh, select inverts. And let's, we're in this third layer here. I'm going to delete all that extra content there. And then I'm going to select, deselect, and move this down like so. And I'm going to re transform it a little bit. Now, I don't have to transform it proportionately. 
I want something like this. There we go. So now, once again, I'm going to just flatten everything later. Flatten. And then I'm going to use the lasso tool this time to blend these two layers. So I want to keep those balloons. I can lose this little one here. And I can lose that little one there, but I want to keep the other ones. And then I want to come up into here like so. And I want to blend these images together and create this fantastic image, generate, fill, generate, and, and just let the generative tool do its work. And so now I have some options here, which ones do I like the best? They're all pretty good. I think I like the first one the best. And so what I did here is um, I did this generative blend and I took three images. You can use more than three images. And you can do this with uh, photography or with images that are art or painting or drawings. And I blended them together vertically. Okay. And we'll stop here.